previously on Skyrim. Oof. Sorry. Warning. The following game is rated mature and contains content not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. On the last episode, we decided to continue on with the main story, something we haven't dealt with in like 80 episodes. <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time. Anyway, we headed over, we started in Iverstead and started to climb up the throat of the world up to High Hrothgar. Uh, we went up the 7,000 steps. We dealt with two dragons. One killed us, and the next one we killed. Uh, met up with a couple people that were also climbing up the mountain, but they weren't going all the way to the top. Uh, we also read a bunch of epitaphs that were around here that, like, gave us a small history lesson on the world around Skyrim and about the shout and the way of the voice. Uh, we made it up to High Hrothgar, dropped off Clemic supplies outside, and then went inside to talk with the Greybeards, who have been waiting so, so long for us. Uh, we talked with Aaron Gear, who was like, are you the Dragonborn? So we shouted in his face, and he was like, oh, good. Uh, we proceeded to then learn a new word for our shout, uh, the Unrelenting Force shout, which d I think doubles the power, but it also raises how long it takes to recharge. We then demonstrated that, and then we went outside and learned another word for our Warwind Sprint. So we're doing great with learning words. So good, in fact, that... Our final trial to be accepted into the Greybeards as Dragonborn is to head over to Ustengrav, the tomb of Jurgen Windcaller, the leader of the the ancient founder and old leader of the Greybeards, to go retrieve his horn. So that's what we're going to be doing this episode. Yeah, hi, Rothgar's right here. <laughs> Ooh, I should point this out. I did have to replay last episode because. Uh, this didn't pop when I when I uh, tried to unlock it, so I just restarted from an old save file, which I tried to start doing, and then I accidentally overrode the closest one. So, yeah, as you can see right here, uh, that's when I was going outside to relearn it. So, yay. So I just went from the file that I already had. So we need to go to Ustengrav, which according to here on this map should be... Uh, like right around there-ish? Somewhere around there. Because white runs right down there. And solitude should be way over there. I don't think we get to see any other towns. There's the Western Watchtower. Uh, Dawnstar should be like over there somewhere. Maybe we could see the College of Winterhold? It might be too far. Down there is where that stone is. There's my house. There's the Tundra Homestead. That's one of my houses. My other house is right there. <laughs> There's Bree's home. Okay. Speaking of my houses, uh, Ustengrav is located right next to one of my houses. Yeah, we need to go right here. Ustengrav. Good. I was making sure I was pronouncing it correctly. Because there's so many words that have very little vowels. Or too many vowels. That doesn't sound good. Ooh. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want a giant next to my house because he will send my steward up into space. I'm actually surprised we have yet to see this glitch in action, but I'm kind of thankful we have yet to see this glitch in action <laughs> because I would have. I would have died. I am glad though that we have seen other things fall from space. So <laughs> maybe, maybe the giant interacted with them. Although sometimes it seems like they just spawn in space. Also, I'm coming down here to see if my fish have been hatching. They should be. I put some fish in here. I don't remember what I put. Uh, The fact I don't see anything is a bad sign. Huh. Well, darn it. Okay, well, whatever. There is a Stormcloak camp really close by, so we should go see what that's all about. Yeah, just popped up over there. Usengrav, I think it, it should we should be able to see it, like right over here. Yeah, it's that thing right there. That's Usengrav. I have a complaint. I have a complaint. All the all the furniture inside inside uh my uh Lakeview Manor, I already forgot what its name was. How did I forget what the name of this town Lakeview Manor. 
all the furniture inside of it, like all the all the loose items, respawned. So now I have to spend some time getting all those back. It was annoying because I was trying. I uh, I have purchased everything in Proud Spire Manor and in. What was my other houses? I was trying to get, like, all the stuff out of my other houses. And then that happened. I feel bad about this building. I don't know why. I just feel like there's... Well, I mean, it's on fire. I feel like there's also something inside it. There's also a Imperial camp that way. Wow, these two camps are real close by. Let me just get them for the sake of getting them. And also, if a dragon happens to spawn in and attack me, that'd be nice. Do it here. Yoink. I'm a little upset at the spreadsheet right now because it lists a bunch of these camps in a different place. And from what I can tell, some of them don't even exist. <laughs> so I have to go and find out which ones exist. Like, there were supposed to be some that spawned in. Like, the one that we... uh kind of went to over by Shores, Shore Stone, and uh, yeah, that one doesn't exist. Like, it'll never spawn in. I don't know if it was cut or if it was glitched. But it'll just never spawn in. I like how close these camps are. Ooh, there's another boat over there that's, like, all sunk and stuff. Well, it's starting to sink. It's run aground. I should mention I also have... I, oh, I did mention this. I talked with pretty much every merchant already and, and invested in their shops, except for a couple. And that has boosted the... That boosted the percent by, like, 5%. So, we're at, like, 37, 38% complete, according to the spreadsheet. This is already way more than I usually do, so... This will be my fullest playthrough of this game ever. Okay, is there anything in this house? I really need to cough. <laughs> I have another story. I have another story. And it's a stupid story. It, it, it'll explain why I feel sick. Because I, I think I am sick. Or I'm at least getting over a sickness. And I'm always hesitant to record when I'm sick, because even though I don't usually sound that different when I record, I can tell. Also, when I record before 10 o'clock in the morning, like, if I record between, like, when I wake up and 10 o'clock, I can hear a difference in my voice. But if I start recording at 10 o'clock, I sound normal. I'm a very weird person. Oh. Ooh. Hey. Why do bandits have a uh, necromancer oh. working with them? Damn you. No. Also, did not expect to be a... Okay, you're actually dead. And now you're dead for good. Okay, you're just an apprentice. I hit the rock. I missed. What did I hit? That sounded like a... There we go. It sounded like I shot a bear trap. Here you go. Stop rolling. Stop rolling. I already have this. I'll take it just in case. I mean, I knew there were going to be some bandits around here, but I didn't think there'd be a necromancer. I might spell bad things for inside. Maybe the necromancer was in the middle of killing them both. And got one of them, but didn't get the other. That could be true. There is a dead body down there. All right, story time. Uh, <laughs> so it was very cold this last week. Anyone living in the in the United States probably knows just how cold it got. Oh, there's skooma down here. I got home. Ooh, an ebony bow. I got home from work Friday. And I found out that it was very cold in my house. And I just thought, I don't know, it is negative 15 degrees outside uh, with a negative 50 wind chill. It might just be that. Or it could be just the grids being worked, so maybe they're not allowing full power right now for the grid. 
So I just bared through it, realized, boy, it still is cold by the time I was trying to go to bed. And uh, checked my furnace. It was running. It wasn't expelling any warm air, though. So I went to bed with, like, 12 blankets. <laughs> I found every blanket I could find. And I, and I, uh, I went to bed like that. Woke up. Still very cold. Uh, found out that my furnace was not All working. Yours are slower than Argonians in a blizzard. Feel free to grab a pick and help them out. I prefer not to sully myself with manual labor. There goes another one. Bah, weak will rubble. Even dead, they're almost useless. Did the guy just die from being overworked? Or did he get attacked by a Draugr? Anyway. They seem less intelligent each time you raise them, if that's even possible. As long as they can swing a pickaxe where I tell them, they're as smart as we need them to be. Okay, you need to go you first. That. The others must have found something. We'd better go see. These can tend to themselves for a few minutes. Oh, we could just let them go. To go for now. Uh, yeah, so we woke up. Still very cold. I uh, found out my furnace was not giving heat. I uh, had my brother come over because he's an electrician. Found out that the exhaust pipe on my uh, furnace was blocked. So it wasn't creating, it wasn't able to power up. So we had to climb up on the roof and unclog it. And uh, yeah, so it started warming up then. And uh, from what I could tell, uh, between when I got home from work and when I uh, went to Christmas dinner, uh, my house was only like around 40 degrees inside <laughs> because that's how low the thermostat goes and according to the thermostat it was lower or or about that it was as low as it could go so it was either 40 degrees or lower than that and i don't mind the cold but that was too cold and now i think i got a sickness from it because i've been sick for like the last couple of days So if I sound funky... Oh, what happened to this guy? What was that? There. What the heck are they doing? I'm not doing a thing. Oh, they're fighting Draugr. Oh, they're fighting big Draugr. Uh-oh. You know what? It's not my problem. Jesus Christ, these spells. You are supposed to do this, like, very early on, so... This should have been like a level 6 dungeon. We're level 48. 47. So these Draugr are probably like Draugr Lords. <laughs> yep, Draugr Death Lord. Oh, there goes one. Ice attacks aren't supposed to... Oh, they are using fire. Oh, God. I just like... Okay, they are they're all they're all gonna stop fighting each other and they might start fighting me. I just wanted to kill. I wanted to get something to try and level up my archery. Oh, there they go. Back to infighting. Oh, one of them died. I think all that's left is one conjurer and one death lord. Fire Wizard has not taken any damage. Might have healed himself. Out, I guess. Oh, did you kill it? <laughs> well, I win. I won in the end. Is there a gem right there? There sure isn't. There probably was. Is this guy actually dead? I don't have detect dead yet. <laughs> I need to level up my abilities first. Let's see what we can find. Are we supposed to go that way or are we supposed to go that way? Just heard a footstep. I feel not safe here anymore. Or that might have just been one of the skeleton bones falling. 
There's a dead Draugr over there. There are a lot of urns in this room. Oh, and what has to be a, a fake door. Or fake wall. So there's probably, like, a lever around here. <laughs> Yeesh! Okay, well, that, that would have lured anyone around. If anyone was around. That, uh, someone's inside here. Yeah, this is 100% a fake wall. But I don't know if this is, like, the exit or just, like, a secret room. If I had to guess, I'd say... Well, hold on. Easy way to find out. Eh, it is on the map. It is on the map. No chain there. No chain there. This could be the exit. Don't see any chains anywhere. So we'll just assume that's an exit and, and move on. Is this room? There might be something in here. Hey, if we're gonna have more infighting, that'd be great. I don't gain anything from it, but it'll ser it'll sort of make me feel nice. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I'm taking that. I think that's the person that was trying to raise people that we heard. And she's dead now. And I don't want to raise her up. We already have Mr. Talara too. I did not read this. Maybe I don't have it. Oh, I leveled up my restoration. <laughs> I'm so close to the next level. I need to take what I can get. I need to get some of those cheese leveling up methods. Because, boy, that'd be so nice right now. Not have to worry ever again about, like... Oh, well, it's going to take me forever to get to this level. Wait, never mind. I'm just going to cheese it. <laughs> and I can get all the perks I need. Because I'm going to need to get all the perks I need. Are we dealing with Draugr or are we dealing with Necromancies? Another dead Draugr there. Oh, well, that one's still alive. Or dead, you choose. Hey, friend. How's it going? I don't think I can hit him in the arm. I alerted him and I alerted someone else. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I see you over there. I might just... Ooh, they're gonna leave. Hit too well. There's one. <laughs> he was pointing. He was trying to Babe Ruth me out. Nope, nope, nope. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna shoot you right now. Where is this leading me off to? See, here's another fake door, but I feel like this one is... Yeah, this one has a lever. Okay, well, I I don't think I would have been able to pick up all of the gold without taking everything here. At least fast. So what's behind this secret door? Since this is a main story dungeon, I feel like they put more work into these ones, and so they have a lot more twisting paths, and might be a little bit bigger than other ones. That's not to say that, I mean, some of the dungeons we've been dealing with for some of these side quests, they've been pretty massive. And some of the Creation Club ones aren't no... They're, no, they're pretty good as well. Seeing as some of them have to be either new or reuse old places. Like the whole dwarven dungeon that we went into to get that, uh, those two things where we had to fight the, uh, Onyx dwarven guardian. Who killed you? Who killed you? Oh, that's the, that's where I just came from. What did I just see? Ooh. 
My thief senses were tingling. I sensed a bag of gold. So they had people try and mine a way through this thing? Did they just, like, walk? Maybe they were worried about the Draugr. And then, like, they opened up the Draugr section. Hey there, friend. Bye there, friend. I'm getting a point to somewhere behind this door. I mean, this isn't a door, but there must be something behind there. There's also the second level up there. Oh, we're, we're heading up there now. Yes, I think that first door we saw was the exit. I at least can be a little bit less wary about all these uh all these chests having traps. I mean I, I shouldn't give up a hundred percent on checking if they're trapped or not, because I feel like there's gonna be one that will get me. I can't wait for it to get me. Ooh, this guy made it pretty far. Ustengrav Depths. Alright, we have... We have a goal to get to. The Horn of Jürgen Windcaller is right over there. So we just need to go through everything between here. Oh, I remember this. So we'll be going down there. It's a big room. I don't know if any uh, anyone got this far. There was that fire spurting thing. I hear Draugr. Yep. There's a skeleton way down there. Yes, yeah, so that thing right there. There's a that's a pressure plate. There's also a word wall right there. There's one of the weird dungeons where the word wall is not at the end. Oh, another another skelly. Skelly, stop. Aha. Any more skelly? I gotta find out what's on top of that pressure plate. Also, what's this way? Oh, just this is just a wide hallway. Okay. There seems to be something lit down there. There's a path right there. And then we have a bunch of like chasms. There's a platform right there. There's a platform right there. There's a platform right there. And there's a platform right there that are all separated by like gaps, which is a good thing because at this point you should have at least one word of the whirlwind sprint. So that should be what the minimum requirement is to get across those. Ouch. They both work? It both didn't work. What was the way to tell before? Before was there was some char on the ones that worked. I think that one that one didn't reveal any char, so I feel like you either knew or you didn't. There's someone walking next to me. Oh, they're below me. Ooh, we found a dining hall. Dine on this. Uh-oh. Which way are they going? Oh, they're going down there. Eeny, meeny, never mind. Pop back up. Pop back up. And they're coming back. Is he coming back? Ooh, that might be good enough. I leveled up! Come on, get through that door. Ooh, right where the sun don't shine.
Oh, yeah, we have to eat. I'm going to merge down there. So he went that way just because he needed to cut me off. Where am I at on the map? That's where I entered. I walked down here. What is this? Big open area right here. All right, well, the good news is everyone should be dead. I hope. Where's this go? But I feel like not everyone's dead. Lots of potions in here. Oh, this is a shortcut. I could have sneaked by both of them. No, 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 no. I want to see what's in here. Oh, let's see. We got a purple mountain flower. They got some... I feel like the necromancers were using this. Not the, not the draugr that probably don't even eat things anymore. So they did get this far. I would not trust that to be above my head. Even if I was a leader, I would I would not trust that at all. Don't think there's anything I have to worry about secret wise around here. Still, best to keep my eyes open. I was almost certain I was going to walk off this bridge. other side of that i think we're this is gonna lead us down Ooh, there's a fire trap here what does that mean there's several fire traps oh there's gonna be someone merging out of this emerge i whiffed it i whiffed it again i'm the best You managed to get both of them lit. Yep, yeah, see, I'm the best. I wasn't lying. It was all set up. You couldn't tell because I wasn't revealing anything. Okay, why is this locked? Oh, there's a there's an enchanting table back there. What the heck is this? Oh, there's two gates. Aha. The good thing is about this 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 dungeon is that, despite it being supposedly very low, uh, everything around it should be leveling up for me, which is why there's grand soul gems and oh we're still finding like iron and steel stuff so maybe not fully. How did you get a? Sound effect was that? How did that guy get over there? I took a shield. I didn't need. I, I did not need the shield. I think that guy was already dead. That looks like it leads under the big room. What's up here? I love how I probably spent more time. Crouching than I have been, like, uncrouched. It's it's just a, it's a setting. Everyone that's played this game knows it's just a setting. When, you, when you're in dungeons, you crouch. Unless you're going, like, all barbarian-like or magic-like. Even if you're magic-like, you're gonna be squishy. Okay, the skellies are dead. That does not mean everyone else here is dead. There is a draugr on that. See, there's someone right there. There's there's two things over there. One of these skeletons is going to run through this fire. I can almost almost guarantee that. Oh, here comes one. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. <laughs> well, I know that one's on fire now. Oh, and they've they've lit the path. We got we're I'm just seeing where this goes. I am going to go down and get that board wall, though. 
Oh, there's a guy sitting on the throne. Probably a leveled up skelly. Or a dead one. Okay, I didn't need to hold the button the whole time. I think I did both shouts, both words. See, this is good. This is short enough that I only need to yell one time. So just a, just a slight tap of the button. <laughs> like the accidental press I did earlier. There we go. Oh, there is someone alive. Don't tell me it's you. Oh, well. Hey, can you back up, please? Cool. Where are you going? I thought I hit him. Please tell me you're climbing up those stairs. <clears throat> uh, sir? Sir? Well, I mean, I might as well just... Oh, he's lost me. Okay. That's fair. I lost you, too. Where the heck did you go? Oh, he's coming back. That was foolish. I even shot this way, thinking he was still alive. Nope. Nuh-uh. Didn't want me to. Ooh, I wonder where this is taking me. Oh, this might be like a a room that's impossible to get to. Yeah. Is there a lesser soldier? I just... Oh, it's in your face. Move your face. Yep, so this is one of those special rooms that you can't get unless you're, you think outside the bun. Uh, how do I get down now without hurting myself? That's fine. Okay, so here's like a altar cult area. <laughs> I'm so glad that was not a pressure plate. Maybe this is where the graybeard started, and this was like Jurgen Windcaller's like area of prayer. I think I'm good down here. I don't know if there's anyone that's gonna attack me. But the wall calls. There is this lit place over here that I'm very curious about. I have a feeling... Don't tell me I'm supposed to go this way. Uh... Because there was that cave, but I'm not sure if that was, like, the direction I needed to go or the direction that... Uh... Alright, hold on. What word am I learning? Ooh, become ethereal. I like that one. Let's learn it. I mean, I have 29 dragon souls in stock right now. So, I I think I have enough to learn most of the words already. No, no, no. Unlock. There we go. One that cannot harm or be harmed. So, this turns me into, like, ghost mode. And because it's a waterfall, I have to check behind it. <gasps> it paid off! Oh, but this might hurt me. Yep, that's what I thought. Aha, uh -huh, your shout didn't work. So you might notice that, you know, they're shouting. These Draugr are also shouting. If you've paid more attention to what words I shout when I do Underlending Force, you might know that he's shouting the whole three words of it. It also was in, like, the trailers. <laughs> like, for when the game was revealed. Well, was it in the first trailer? Or was it in the second trailer? Where they finally showed, like, environments and stuff. I remember seeing both trailers when they came out back in 2010, 2011. I also remember that I did not actually start playing this game until, like, 20... I mean, this came out, what? This, I mean, this obviously came out November 11th, 2011. Because that was the marketing thing. 11, 11, 11. But I don't remember... This is a tiny chest. I don't remember when I started playing it. I, I just looked at, like, the true achievement stuff on it to see when I earned my first achievement in the original Skyrim. And it was, like, 
December, so I feel like I was late to the party. I don't know what else I would have been playing around that time. I was a poor college student. That might explain a lot. <laughs> So maybe it was like a Christmas gift or something. Okay, well, this Draugr should have at least something good. Oh, I was almost certain that that middle one's gonna catch on fire. Should be good now. I hope I'm good now. Okay, new problem. Where the heck do I go? It wasn't that way. That wall looks like it's lit, but that doesn't look like a fake wall or a fake door. So... Hmm. Because, I mean, I'm over here, and I need to find a way to get over here. There is this thing. So is there, like, a path over here that I just completely missed? This entire area over here just like a... Oh, I gotta cross the bridge! Oh, that makes sense. I forgot I came from over this way. Oh, wow. I feel dumb. Completely obvious. My detour down there and then going back there really confused me. Hi there, friend. Ooh, overshot. Are you coming... Are you coming to get me? Okay. You and your uncanny dodge ability. Get back. Get back. Twice? Not fair. Oh, there's a puzzle here. And I don't remember what it is. I just remember there's a puzzle here. Uh, let me see if there's like any notes around here that might explain what I have to do. I mean, I could just find out. I could just go up to it and see. But I didn't see any chains. Oh. They're timed. Oh, I, I ran right into it. How far can I get if I... Okay, hold on. Oh, that's what the puzzle is. And I did it, so it stays open now. There really should be a chain over here. Okay. Oh, God, this looks like it's just a straight shot. Is it just a straight shot now? Are there any more twisty turnies? Oh, I don't like this. I know I haven't said in a while, but spider warning. Incoming spider warning? Didn't even notice the pressure plates again. I need that ability. Pretty please. Yeah. Oh, God, this room. Once again, is there like a visual difference? Oh, there is. The light colored ones. 
And then there's dark colored ones. And by that I just meant like, look at the in in the diamond right here around the nozzle. Uh, this one's light, so it probably does not set me on fire. This one's dark, it probably will set me on fire. Let me just stay in the light ones then. Light, 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 light. Any goodies scattered around this little collapsed part of it? Light, light. Oh, there's the spiders. I dare you to come get me. <laughs> Never mind, they're both dead. There's got to be like a mommy spider, huh? I hate when I'm correct. <laughs> it was also, it never saw me. Couldn't you have died with stuff in your pocket? I wish you could shoot more than one arrow to set this thing open. Here, let me just flame it. So not much of a straight shot. Oh boy, it is definitely a straight shot. I can't wait to fight whatever's in this next room. This door is going to lock behind me. Well, there's nothing to detect. Maybe there's nothing to fight. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Oh. The Draugr are already dead. Dragonborn, I need to speak to you, urgently. Run to the attic room at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood, and I'll meet you, a friend. Someone beat me here. Oh. All right. Wait, how'd they get past all the traps and stuff? And left some alive? Mean, rude. All right, so it looks like we get to go to Riverwood. Oh, at least they left me this chest. Urn, urn. Anything inside these urns? So the horn is gone. Someone else knows I'm the Dragonborn and definitely heard what happened with, I mean, I don't know who didn't hear the Greybeard's request. Also, I gave them plenty of time to go here first. <laughs> I think uh, I think it's possible to actually go to this dungeon or at least do like the second half before before uh, getting up to High Hrothgar and dealing with the way of the voice section. I think according to the wiki, if I remember correctly, it says that there's just a lot of necromancers and a lot of Draugr fighting in front of that door and the door is locked. So... And if this is where I think it is, we should see a room full of urns. Uh-huh. Okay. Well. I need to see who's so interested in seeing me that they delved into a dangerous dungeon to get something before I did. Ow, the bones hurt.
Oop, I completely passed Riverwood. All right. It'll probably be nighttime by the time we get here. Or it'll be early morning. It's nighttime. Let's get before a dragon attacks. You there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. Ah, uh, crap. Uh, the heck is attacking? Yes, I am Dragonborn. Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Help! Oh god, they sent the Flame Atronach? Oh, the Flame Atronach has dodge moves, huh? You got it. You got it. Thanks. Hey, you mix portions, right? Can you brew me an ale? Someone just tried to murder me. Day. You should look into that. What does the dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? Cultist orders. Uh, let's read this. Uh, board the vessel Northern Maiden docked at Raven Rock. Take it to Windhelm, then begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Yambo before he reaches Solstheim. Return with word of your success, and Mirak shall be most pleased. Ah. Uh, I forgot that you need to progress forward in the story to actually get access to some of the DLC stuff. Just take all that. So. I'll just leave your clothes on. So, the Dawnguard DLC requires you to be level 10, and then those, uh, Dawn, you'll start hearing Dawn Guard stuff and some vampires might attack you. Uh, the vampires have never attacked us, so that's probably good, but they haven't, like, showed up a lot more. Uh, to start the Dragonborn thing, you need to be at least level 20, and you need to have uh, completed the Way of the Voice. This is the first town we've been in since we completed the mission last episode, so yeah, they just spawned here and attacked us. So they want us to go over to Solstein from a boat over in... over here. There's so many travel to Solstein's thing. Uh, that is... We're going to be heading there way later. <laughs> oh, not again. All right. Nope, don't sit down. I have business. You're that visitor been poking around. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Uh, I'd like to rent the attic room. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. Okay. Alright, well, I rented this room. This room is mine now. Shame I can't take this. Hmm. And the so you're the dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. I think you're looking for this. We need to talk. Follow me. Thank you for the horn. But what's this all about? Secret business. Now we can talk. A lot of people have these false backs, huh? Hello. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. Uh... <laughs> You're the one on, who took the horn? Surprised? I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. Uh, I was expecting someone taller. Uh, what's with all the cloak and dagger? You can't be too careful. Thalmor spies are everywhere. Uh, what do you want with me? I didn't go to all this trouble on a whim. I needed to make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. 
I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. Uh, go on, I'm listening. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. Why did you take the horn from Ustengrav? I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were Dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeards sent, and not some Thalmor plant. Why are you looking for a Dragonborn? We remember what most don't, that the Dragonborn is the ultimate dragon slayer. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Uh, I don't know if it's devouring. I do take it. Yes, that's how I first learned I was dragonborn. Good, and you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Uh, you said the Thalmor are after you. Yes, we're very old enemies. And if my suspicions are correct, they might have something to do with the dragons returning. But that isn't important right now. What is important is that you might be Dragonborn. So what's the part you're not telling me? Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. What makes you think dragons are coming back to life? I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. So where are we headed? Kynes Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. All right. Uh, hold on. I'm not ready to go yet. I can't wait around for you to make up your mind. I'll meet you at Kynes Grove. Don't waste time getting there. Map of Dragon Burials. I'm not going to take this just yet. Oh. That's better. Let's get on the road to Kynes Grove. Okay. I'll meet you there. The, that's a That's a big... It's a big coin purse. It's probably only like 30 coins. Uh, 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 uh. You know what? I'll wait and take everything from here later. But. Orgnar, I'm traveling. You've got the inn till I get back. Right. Happy trails. I have a pit stop to make first. I need to go to the top of the mountain. I know that's way out of the, out of the way, but I got to go there first. <laughs> I have the horn now. Might as well go turn it in. Also, they might want to know who the heck you are. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna snitch. <laughs> we'll meet her at Kynes Grove. Oh, Arn Gear. I feel like I should tell you the whole truth. Oh, you're trying to pray here as well, huh? Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Rimkov. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Right, I'm going to follow you. I have to learn the word from that guy, but they're both going to the same place, so. Also, this is a good thing that I do because now I think, uh, well, as you see, that's steel. Uh, once I complete this mission, I think everything will be free to take. I really hope it unlocks when I do it. I mean, just, you know. Make a safety save just in case. It doesn't unlock. That way, it could just start from right here. The last one didn't you are unlock. Ready to learn the final word of unrelenting force, da, which means push. Da. I like the old words still here. Three words together. This shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Master Wood. Your 
training, Dragonborn. We would speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. Oh boy. Vindra Tasted the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. That's a taste of the voice. <laughs> okay, well, like I said, High Hrothgar is now like another home that we can have, and uh, everything's available. Let's talk with Aaron Gear now. Your training proceeds well, Dragonborn. Uh. I'd like to learn more about the voice. You have learned so much already, Dragonborn. Growing your gift too quickly would be dangerous. But there are many words of power in Skyrim carved in the dragon tongue. Even from here, we can feel the thune resonate from them. Finding these lost words would be a sufficient test to temper your abilities with experience. Ask when you are ready to search. Uh, have you located any words of power? We have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Alright. Sky, got you. So Arngear here will now uh, tell me where words of power are at. So he'll just tell me where a word wall is. Uh, does it show up on the map right now? Or do I have to actually activate it? Oh, I gotta return to Clemic too to tell him that I did the thing. Uh oh. Oh. Lost Tongue Overlook is over there, but it's a dragon place. But there is a word of power there. Because no duh, it's a dragon place. Every dragon place has a word of power at it. Shearpoint does. Uh Mount Anthor does. We saw the dragon place over here, but we didn't actually go to it. It's like up on this mountain. Somewhere around there. Uh, that's good for now. <laughs> we have become official Dragonborn, and now uh, the Greybeards like us. Yay, the Greybeards like us. And we learned all three words of a shout. We know the whole Fusro Da now. I don't dare, you know, I'm just gonna hang on outside and shout it all. Let me make sure it's equipped. So we can hear Yambo's delicious voice. <laughs> Oop, wrong button. He only can say so many words, and they're all in dragon tongue. So <laughs> we never, we'll never hear Yambo say a single word in English. Oh, well. That's what I am for. So, that's going to do it for this episode. On the next episode of Skyrim... We do have that other thing that we have to go deal with. Uh, they're not going to give me any more missions except for to go find words of power. So, you know, that's all that they, that's all they wanted me to do. They wanted me to become part of the Greybeards and help learn more of my words. Uh, but they don't really know about what's going on with the dragons. So, luckily that other person, Delphine, has an idea of what's going on. So we have to go find out where she's going to over in, K in Kynes Grove and uh, take care of a dragon that's being resurrected from the dead? We'll see. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy.